way back because I'm 88 and a half now. It didn't occur to me at the time that I was doing any groundbreaking activity, but I didn't want to have to stay home and take care of kids. And I really wanted to go out and sail. I didn't realize what the rest of the culture was doing. What I did was sail, and uh, I loved it. The biggest first turning point in my life was meeting Gordon Nash. I had a terrible crush on him. And if Gordy would say, jump, Jocelyn, I would say, how high, sir? You know, it was that bad. In about 1958, Gordon Nash decided to buy a 110, an international 110, the double-ended boat. So we raced the 110, and the 110 fleet was the hot fleet at that time. And all the good young sailors that were coming up were sailing on 110s, and we were part of that. That was one of the most fun times of my life, racing the 110. But then Gordy sold the boat, and I thought that that was probably that was a bad turning point. Where is that one? I can't see it. I was determined to take any sailing opportunity that came along. I wanted to steer, I wanted to helm. Divorces don't happen just suddenly. You know, they take a while. I wanted to go to Southern California midwinters and uh, that was when Gordon moved out. And I remember thinking that was great because then I could go to Southern Cal Midwinters. Okay, the wind's gone aft. Yeah. yeah. Ease everything out. You got to come up, John? Yeah. And when I first joined Richmond Yacht Club, I felt like I'd died and gone to heaven because all the people were so friendly. I don't know, the wives didn't particularly like, like me, but uh, I got along with the husband of the skippers of boats. And in those days, women mainly went out on a boat to either bail or make sandwiches. We didn't have a shower in the ladies' head at Richmond Yacht Club. And one day we'd been out sailing and I came in and I had a couple of vodka martinis and I was wet and cold. And I decided that we'd had enough of the snow shower stuff. So I took my clothes and I marched into the men's head where there was a shower and took a shower. And we had a shower in the women's head within two weeks after that. Since at first there were no women sailing, there were no people competent to be crew. But as a little bit of time went on, there were women who sailed. So when there were women available to crew, I put together some women's crews. And we had so much fun together. And I had never gotten along with women that well before but I got along with these women. They were all wonderful, wonderful people. People say, what would you do differently? And I would say nothing. I'm glad I have a good life now. I'm still doing some sailing. Aim right for that white boat. Yeah. <laughs>